Hi and welcome, I'm Tommy Holst and this is the Dropcast Movie Posted Podcast. This format is part of the Instagram blog Drop and you can find us under at DropMacOfficial. We do reviews, news and interviews that all have to do with the film business. And today we will take a look at the releases from the last couple weeks because we had a special with the Ghostbusters art book for Print and Blood and Inside Edition. We had four artists on that talked about their work in progress and how they made this beautiful, beautiful Ghostbusters fan art you could say fan art book but uh, it is very much appreciated by the scene Uh, there are a couple really cool reviews out there already from the fans who really enjoyed this book so uh, check this one out as well and let's get started with the focus on our releases from the last two weeks we have different artists on uh, from john cavanay flory linda willoughby over matt over to matt taylor van orton scott hopko Colin O'Hagan, I hope I pronounced that name right, and other cool artists that have great, great art. And thank you again to all the galleries who come up with the licenses for that and make this beautiful art happen. So thank you to you guys. It's really, really appreciated. And uh, let's dive into our first piece, which is by this uh, this beautiful Supergirl piece by Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I almost pronounced the name wrong, but it is, um, sorry, John Cavanagh. And he did uh, three different versions for Bottleneck. He did the Supergirl um, that is seen here, which is a really cool, uh, this, this pin-up version of the DC characters. Then we have the Power Girl um, in the same kind of style. And we also have the Super Cat which is very cute in my opinion. And um, I really like this one as the pinup version. And uh, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of series. And we talked to Dolly um, earlier. The, the, his podcast is going to come out soon. And uh, he was also really f- a big fan of the John Cavanay stuff. And there's there has been um, the Bat, the bad woman or, or the bad girl um, versions as well be, uh, before by Bottleneck as well and uh, different versions. And he comes up with all those uh, female artists in this kind of pinup style, which is um, has this retro feel to it. It's really, really great art, and I really enjoyed it. And um, my my favorite is, though, uh, the Super Cat, of course, and um, I wonder what's your favorite. So let me know which kind of John Cavanagh character is your favorite in the comments. Um, the next piece we're going to look is, at is also by Bottleneck, and Bottleneck, um, yeah, they had for uh, a little bit before May the 4th um, was about, uh, they had this trilogy piece by Flory, which is a really cool artist. And uh, this goes very well along with the Matt Ferguson triptych. He, uh, or Bottleneck, um, was, uh, or had published a couple of years ago, I think 2016, if I'm correct. This was like one of my first pieces I had, and this is how it all started for me. So. Uh, there was a lot of nostalgic, uh, nostalgic feelings in there when I looked at this one, and um, it's a really cool piece. Very Luke centered. It has Luke in, always in in the middle of the of the uh, poster, and like in his certain Luke moments that are very important to the movie. And I really enjoyed this one by Flory. And uh, yeah, to everyone, everybody out there who snagged one, it's a really, really cool piece. But the next series, it's a, it's a whole series. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces in there. It's the legendary Hardware Print series by Lyndon Willoughby. Uh, let's take a look at that. This is the first piece. He has, he, he took like the controllers or the, the way um, people game those Zelda games or those, yeah, those Zelda games. And um, he gave them a certain feeling on what the game is like and uh, paired with this controller and in different colors. This is just a great, just, just great stuff by Lyndon Willoughby. I, I, I don't know what to say. He did, he's, he, he done that before, um, similar stuff with the, with the Zelda series or the, the gaming and into the gaming world. So this is not a movie poster per se, but when you look at um at games they can they can also be kind of a movie and cinematic in a way so um games should have posters or good posters as well too i mean last of us uh, had a couple by ollie moss which was really cool 
And um, yeah, this Legend of Zelda piece is really great. And then from the from the NES, and then the Super NES version, um, a link to the past. Uh, also Legend of Zelda, great piece with the green, love in it. Then we have um, the Game Boy version, which is really crazy. And I love this piece with, especially with the with the egg on top and this, the the mountain. I'm I'm I have to say though I'm not a big Zelda uh, gamer because I I always use the game on PC. So this is um this is not new to me, but I'm not really into it. So cut me some slack, please, with the with the nerding out on this part. But I know a couple people who are really really big fans and they love this poster series. And um, here's another one for the N64, um, which was a really uh, cool uh, edition. I mean, this was like the the this all this the hardware we see, like the 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 the, the controllers. They are all part of like um, of like growing up for a lot of for a lot of people um, out there that are now those collectors who have the money to buy those kind of posters and they they turned out great in my opinion and like uh, this piece as well and then that we have i don't know i don't know which console console was that it's also some some nintendo obviously but um yeah well this piece is also really great i really enjoy it with the especially with the colors and this is basically seen as a globe here and um like the like an island and then you have the underwater part it's just great stuff it's just great stuff and there's another one for the uh for the wii which is really cool as well uh has the has this this incredible design for, for the controller i i enjoyed it because you have you have to you have to have it linked for somehow and they did it here for the legend of zelda skyward sword um which has this upward uh, movement as well and the controller as a sword, which was the kind of feature for this game and really cool stuff. I uh, I can't say it enough. Linden Willoughby, you did very well. And the last one is uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, of course, for the for the Nintendo Switch, which is also really cool. And um, yeah, this this um, finishes out the, the design of all the different consoles as, and like the evolution of Zelda gaming, which is really cool. And uh, for every gaming fan, for every Zelda fan, this, this should be in the household. They're not that big either. Um, so um, if you have the series, you could put them easily together and not waste so much space. So uh, look into that aftermarket. Of course, it's sold out very quick, but um, it should be there maybe for a reasonable price or check out Lyndon Willoughby's uh, Instagram. Maybe he's going to post some APs uh, in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, our next one we are going to look at is Labyrinth by Julian Totino Tedesco. I hope I didn't butcher that as well. Um, this is uh, also a screen print poster by Mondo. Um, really cool detail. I love this movie. Is like, it's like a special movie. I mean, uh, I mean, you got Bowie in it and all these other cool uh, characters and um, the baby, of course. And everything that came out of this movie was uh, really interesting and fun. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a good movie, especially for Sunday afternoon. That's, my, that's one of my favorite Sunday afternoon movies, like to, to watch that, like also with the Goonies or Indiana Jones is also a good Sunday afternoon movie. I love that kind of, this, this type of um, feeling that this movie gives me. And this is really um, very well translated from the poster, I think. And uh, yeah, Juan Totino Tedesco, he did a good job on that. And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Our next one is not going to be a poster, but in, in some sort of way it is. And it's this little one by um, Matt Taylor, who, who does all those great Marvel uh, or MCU posters. Uh, he's been interviewed like a couple months back by Mondo uh, themselves, who, uh, who uh, came up or released those p posters and uh, have the licenses for the MCU stuff. And he did the whole series and it's like always sold out. I love the Spider-Man variant he did for um, Far From Home, which was the colors. Oh my God. And they always, they always like so special in his prints. And um, and the concept, the, the, the concept of those prints, I mean, they are, there's a, a lot of characters in there. You could say that, but it's still has some direction and it has this kind of feeling 
um, that is translated by this movie and it comes all together very great as it does in the movie when the characters um, are on screen. I mean, you have a lot of talent in there. And yeah, this is the, the um, Infinity, I think it's the Infinity War uh, side. And then uh, because it's the Infinity Saga piece and then you have the um, end game, exactly the end game side of it. And it's really cool art. He also did. Uh, oh, by, by oh, I forgot to tell you. By the way, this this is an LP. This is the 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 six LP um, Infinity Saga box, and he designed all the the art for it. Um, I don't know if he desi designed the LP itself because this there's we're gonna there's gonna be a next picture of that in there, and this this is the 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 inside here of um, of this um, piece. And then you also have um, here the different uh, LPs, and uh, they they also look really cool. And they are obviously the, in the Infinity Gems, and as you can see here with the with the second snap, and, and then you have the other uh, LPs and the other Infinity Gems. Really cool concept, uh, great idea, and soundtrack was cool. So for every soundtrack fan. Go check that out. Um, and I'm looking for Mondo. Please do the Mandalorian soundtrack. That would be the greatest. I would love to have that one with a cool cover art. Uh, maybe it's in the making already. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for that. Maybe in the future I will uh, report on that. Okay, we're going to go over to um, another Mandalorian. <laughs> Speaking of, we have this is, the, this is one of the May the 4th pieces. And this is, was made by Van Orton Design. Um, I think it's a duo. I'm not sure if it's uh, just one person. And uh, they do um, very cool, um, like super colorful designs, which also uh, I had um, a, a big poster for the movie Big with Tom Hanks, which is also this kind of color design. It's like really great stuff they did here. And um, it's kind of simple, but colorful. And I think this is like pop culture at its peak, you know? Um, you you are seen very well um, with this, uh, or, or you can see that very well. It reminds me a lot of the um, Andy Warhol kind of style posters, and um, yeah, that that would be also a very cool piece in your apartment. It would like be definitely something uh, people are gonna stand in front and look at. And then we have another Mandalorian one, which is more on the Western side. And this one is by Scott Hopko. And he did this a very cool um, 60s uh, spaghetti Western style of poster. And also with the with the um, the way the poster is designed is also not not just uh, like the, le the 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 font and the way it is um, like the, the concept of where which goes where and stuff. Uh, you also have like a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from authority of the New Republic, which is like this reminder of this Western uh, style of uh, of, ser of a series and um, really great stuff. I also enjoyed this one very uh, very much so, um, but I also have something else for you, almost but not last. I have the one piece here, this one. The Lighthouse by uh, Colin O'Hagan, and this one is there. There are a couple lighthouse pieces out there already, but this one, I I, I don't know. I, I wonder how he did it because the details. I don't know if let me let me see if I can zoom in. It's like the the quality is not perfect, but as you can see here, it's like super. I I wonder. I'm still. Um, I'm still uh, looking for the money because I really want this piece. It's a digital print though, and not a screen print, but I think if if it comes out as close to this as you can see it as a digital version here, uh, it's gonna look so great on paper. I'm really excited about this one, the details with the with the seagulls, and then you have the, the lighthouse here and the island as, as one of the characters. It's and and the light as well. I mean, black and white, going with the film uh, with the film's concept. Great, great choice. I really enjoyed this piece. One, uh, so check it out. It's on Etsy. You can still get it. There are different sizes of this print, and uh, yeah, um, it's available. So go check it out. I don't think it's an open edition, but um, 
maybe uh, Colin Hagen will tell us that. So uh, check him out. And last but not least, I talked about it already. The Ghostbusters art book. Um, I wanted, to, I want, just wanted to urge you to check it out. This is a really cool book. It's available on Amazon. It's a, uh, in in the UK and inside. Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, in the UK for Titan um, books. They they do the release over uh, over here overseas in, in Europe. And then we have uh, Amazon Inside Editions. Uh, they do the release for the US. And this book turned out so well. There's more stuff coming soon. Um, they did already the Thing art book, which is really cool and great artists in there. They did um, the Stranger Things art book, which, which turned out really great. And there's going to be a Firefly one in the future. We're going to do a special on that as well. And uh, so st stay tuned, uh, subscribe to check out what we have in store and what Printed in Blood and uh, Stephen Hovicke, who was so, so kind to talk to us uh, on the podcast as well. Um, they they do they do great work so so definitely subscribe to them as well and check them out great art is coming soon in form of books which is a really cool concept since uh there's limited wall space and i think art books are a good option okay that's it from my side and uh, thank you for listening of course this was the Dropcast and we post a podcast. Don't forget to sus subscribe on our YouTube page and don't for, uh, forget to subscribe on Instagram and also listen to us if you want to on all the available podcast um, possibilities. And yeah, so this is it. Bye, guys. <laughs>